All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Uh, in today's video, I figured I would just make this quick to document this Breba here that I've harvested. It's a variety called Juale Noir that last year was really one of the best Brebas I harvested. Um, the problem I have been seeing with this variety here anyway is it just really hasn't been getting that sweet. Even the main crop, not just the Breba, but the texture is amazing. And the overall feel and taste of the fig is just amazing. Um, it's just that for some reason it's not getting very sweet. I don't know what that's about. So considering that last year this was one of the best Brebas, I figured before it gets totally dark out, it's like 8.30 right now, I should just document this really quickly. It is quite late. I do find that this variety produces a number of Breba. Uh, this year it put out a lot of Breba, but then a lot of them fell off. So I don't know if that's going to continue in the future. Probably not. I would assume this is a quite a nice Bifera variety. So as Breva producers go, I would put this in my top tier. And in fact, which is really weird, some of the best Brevas I've had this year were Smith and Paradiso from Bode. Those figs were just like the main crop uh, and were like four O's and even 4.5 out of fives. Like they were so good. Um, they did have their problems here and there, um, so they're not perfect. I still probably would rather have a really well ripened, maybe Vila de Bordeaux Breva or a Desert King Breva. But let me pick, let me, um, I wish I could show you guys the tree. It's just tucked in the corner over here. That's why I'm filming in the corner. Back behind the pomegranate trees is where the Juale Noir tree is. And I maybe should really move things around and give it maybe a bit more light. And anyway, here's the Breva. It looks spectacular. It looks even uh, slightly shriveled. Um, I found it this morning, actually, it fell off the tree. It was quite windy here lately. It's the day after Father's Day. And uh, yeah, just quickly want to just see if the trend continues that this fig is either not very sweet or is producing a really high quality Breba. This is insane, actually. This is one of the darkest pigmented purple interior figs I've ever seen. And guys, it has nothing to do with just how dark it is. I swear, this is just the reality right now that we're looking at. Look how ridiculous that is. What is happening, right? Um. So, you know, this is a clear, it's clearly a special variety, right? The question is, will it remain, can it get to that next level here? And I just don't have the answer, but let's try this because I think we may figure something out. Huh. So it is getting sweeter, I think. I would consider this a sweet fig. But it's still not like super, super sweet like most figs can be. Um, so very interesting. And I wouldn't even describe this as like, uh, you know, having a really intense berry flavor either, which is weird because of the color. You would expect a, maybe, a, a, you know, a darker, more intense, complex berry flavor. And that's just not really what I'm picking up. Um, you know, Black Celeste is kind of the same thing. So is Vagabond. They're both blue figs on the outside, purple, dark red on the inside. And they just typically actually don't have the craziest berry flavor. Uh, Neruccio de Elba does the same thing. So the pigment's nice, I think for health benefits and the visual appeal, and it's just beautiful. Um, and I think maybe there's something else, a little bit something there to it that just makes me kind of go crazy. I like the skin and the pulp. So the pulp is nice and thick, very jammy. You know, it's really thick like a cold dom, and the skin is really nice. So for me, it's such a nice variety. Um, so I'm happy. Yeah, I hope that the main crop's a bit sweeter. I'm sure it will be. And the tree is producing pretty well. I think it's uh, rather on the late side though. 
so I have to wait till the end of the season. But my really my plan was to air layer it, which I did last year, put one in the ground, get one established in the ground. I just couldn't get it to uh, to actually get a decent air layer. So that's the plan this year is to air layer it off. We'll evaluate the main crop more. A very promising fig because the shape is perfect. Even though it does ripen a bit late, um, the shape is absolutely perfect. And here's a portion of the tree actually that we're looking at. You can see some figs up there that actually have really a nice head start to the season uh, from the greenhouse. I probably should just get it into more sunlight because I would like it to grow, uh, but that's not really the case just yet. I don't know, maybe we need to give this tree a bit more TLC. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching that one. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care, hit that subscribe button, and check out our blog, figboss.com. Catch you guys for the next video. Take care.